and welcome to Sunday School. My name is Shelby Rue Teagarden and I am the Director of Children's Ministry here at Collierville United Methodist Church. I'm so glad you've joined us today for our Sunday School lesson. We are learning about a specific person in the Bible and his name was Zacchaeus. Now you might know a song about Zacchaeus and Zacchaeus, we're not going to sing the song, but Zacchaeus was a tax collector. And that means that he was in charge of collecting taxes from the people. But Zacchaeus and other tax collectors often took more money than they were supposed to from the people. So the people didn't like tax collectors. You could maybe even say that they hated the tax collectors. But today's story is about a tax collector named Zacchaeus, and Jesus embraces him and welcomes him. And you'll have to stay tuned to the rest of our Sunday School lesson to find out exactly what happens to Zacchaeus. Now I brought with me a candle like I usually do, and we are going to light this candle as a reminder that God is always with us. But it's also a reminder that we are inviting God into this space. And even though God is always with us, it's always a good idea to invite God into the space with us. Will you pray with me this morning? God, thank you so much for the opportunity that we have to learn about you and to study your people. Help us learn and help us love. In your name we pray. Amen.
Our faith word for the month of February is the word guide. What does that word mean? Are there people in the Bible who are guides? Are there people in your life that guide you? Remember that guidance and guiding others is showing the way, just like the light of Jesus shows the way for us to live our lives. Hey friends, it's Samuel. Have you ever been in a situation that felt unfair to you? In this story, the crowd of people definitely thought what was happening was unfair. Oh wait, let me rewind and tell you the story. Jesus is walking into Jericho, where there is a crowd of people to meet him. Zacchaeus, a tax collector, climbs up in a tree to see Jesus over the crowd. Tax collectors were not popular in those days. They were known for being unfair, cheating people out of their money, and making the lives of people really hard. As Jesus walks through the crowd, he stops at the most unexpected person, Zacchaeus. I wonder if the crowd thinks Jesus is going to be mad at Zacchaeus or yell at him. Instead, Jesus tells Zacchaeus to come down because he's going to stay at his house that day. Huh? He chose Zacchaeus? The crowd was not happy. How could Jesus stay with someone who had done wrong? Zacchaeus is so excited to welcome Jesus, and he promises to be fair. Jesus never mentioned the bad things Zacchaeus did, but Jesus helps Zacchaeus change by being kind and loving. Jesus shows us how to give people second chances, even when we don't know if they deserve them. Sometimes people just need a chance to be better. Last year, I started a new school and didn't know anybody. I hated being the new kid, and I didn't know how to make friends. Instead of trying, I was really grumpy. I didn't talk to anyone. One day, one of the kids in my class invited me to go to the park. I was so surprised. I knew I had not been nice because I was upset about being at a new school and not knowing anybody. When I went to the park, I made a lot of new friends. After that, I wasn't grumpy or alone anymore. I was so grateful that they invited me and gave me a chance. The people around Zacchaeus that day thought it was unfair that Jesus would choose him over them. Jesus saw past his mistakes, and he knew he could be better. Jesus was right. Zacchaeus changed. Instead of assuming people won't change, let's remember that Jesus guides us to give everyone a chance. Now, it's time for you to wonder. Our Bible lesson for today comes from Luke chapter 19. We'll be reading verses 1 through 10. Jesus entered Jericho and was passing through town. A man there named Zacchaeus, a ruler among tax collectors, was rich. He was trying to see who Jesus was, but being a short man, he couldn't because of the crowd. So he ran ahead and climbed up a sycamore tree so that he could see Jesus, who was about to pass that way. When Jesus came to that spot, he looked up and said, Zacchaeus, come down at once. I must stay in your home today. So Zacchaeus came down at once, happy to welcome Jesus. Everyone who saw this grumbled, saying, He has gone to be the guest of a sinner. Zacchaeus stopped and said to the Lord, Look, Lord, I give half of my possessions to the poor, and if I have cheated anyone, I will repay them four times as much. Jesus said to him, Today salvation has come to this household, because he too is a son of Abraham. The human one came to seek and save the lost. The word of God for the people of God. Thanks be to God. Can you imagine what it would feel like to be Zacchaeus? To live next to people who didn't like you and called you a sinner? I don't think that would feel very good. And Zacchaeus must have been wondering why Jesus would ever choose to have a meal with him, especially since everyone called him a sinner. But Zacchaeus wanted to change his ways. 
He wanted to be a better person, a person who loved God and loved neighbor. Zacchaeus truly wanted to change, and he wanted to be forgiven, so much so that he repented. Zacchaeus didn't just pretend that his previous bad behavior and bad decisions just went away when he asked to be forgiven. Nope, instead Zacchaeus made amends. He tried to fix what he had broken. How do you think he did this? Well, Zacchaeus not only promised to pay back all of the money that he stole from people, he also promised to, to pay it back four times the amount that he had stolen. And not only that, he promised to give away a lot of his own money to the poor. And so because of Zacchaeus' encounter with Jesus, he was truly changed. With the help of Jesus, anyone and everyone can change and have even a second, third, fourth, fifth, infinite amount of chances to change. When we hear this story, a lot of times we focus on the fact that, oh, that's funny, Zacchaeus climbed a tree just to see Jesus. But really, this story is about forgiving others, and it's about repenting for the things that we've done wrong. Now it's time to wonder about this story. Why do you think Zacchaeus climbed the tree? How did Jesus respond to Zacchaeus climbing the tree? How do you think Zacchaeus felt when Jesus called to him while he was up in the tree? And how do you think Zacchaeus felt when Jesus forgave him? Is forgiveness difficult sometimes? Why so? Have you ever forgiven someone when it was really hard? Take a few moments to discuss these questions with the people that are around you. And don't forget to pause the video. We also have a new memory verse for the month of February. This month's memory verse comes from Psalm chapter 119, and it's verse 18. This memory verse says, Open my eyes so that I can examine the wonders of your instruction. Now let's say that together. Open my eyes so that I can examine the wonders of your instruction. For our craft this morning, we are going to be making a tree, and Zacchaeus will be going up and down that tree. So make sure that you have your paper plate, and make sure you punch a hole in the top of it. Make sure you have your green construction paper, and cut up this construction paper into strips or maybe circles so it will look like leaves. Make sure you have your yarn. And once you have glued your leaves, your green construction paper to the paper plate, get a popsicle stick or a wooden little stick and glue or tape it to the back of your paper plate so that it looks like a tree. And then once you've done that, get your white construction paper out and cut it into a little square. And make sure you punch a hole at the top of it too. And then you can draw Zacchaeus on the piece of paper. Once you've done that, take your yarn and thread it through both this piece of paper with Zacchaeus on it and through the paper plate. So then you'll have a sycamore tree and Zacchaeus himself will be able to climb that tree. What a fun little craft. In our story today, Jesus called Zacchaeus by his name and he had never even met him. How do you think Jesus knew Zacchaeus' name? Do you think that Jesus knows your name? Think about these questions as you finish up your craft for this morning. Well, kids, I hope that you have enjoyed Sunday school this morning, learning about Zacchaeus and his repentance. Always remember that each and every single one of us can repent for our mistakes too and ask Jesus for his forgiveness. Will you pray with me? Dear God, thank you so much for the opportunity to repent and gain your forgiveness. We love you and we praise you. Amen. See you next week.